Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much again for visiting and joining me. Um, I know it's been a long time, so, um, but I'm glad for those who stuck around with me. Um, just with everything going on, been busy, I'm back to work with the whole COVID, so we've been in the house, we've done a little bit of everything. Um, we just got back from vacation as well. Um, but I wanted to come to you guys and um, give you some updates on some of the plants that I've done in a, in previous videos so that way you guys can see some of them where they've progressed to um, to see where they are now um, but before I do so please 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 subscribe to my channel guys watch my videos go back and look at some of the old videos um, uh, definitely subscribe like and also hit the nail the um, bell icon so that way you guys can be notified when I do start posting more as I am going to start posting more I promise you guys um, but anyways without further ado um, I wanted to bring you guys back some of my old plants so uh, one of them I'm going to do is my um, uh, Brazil Brazilian philodendron all right, let me step back because so you can see. So this, I actually brought it downstairs because it has to be watered. As y'all see, if y'all look at my old video, it was still in the in its um, plant pot, the nursery pot. It is still there, y'all. And look at all of the foliage. I can't even get it from the way I'm. Okay, there we go. Look at all of that. <laughs> So this sucker, and this, I've had it for maybe about uh, two years now, but I am now, it is time to repot this plant. So I am now gonna repot it. Um, I'm, I'm actually going on a plant haul, I mean a pot haul to find some new pots. Um, but you guys, it's crazy how long this sucker has gotten. Yes, yeah, so. That is the Brazilian philodendron. And I brought, I actually have it upstairs. I actually have her upstairs um, in our loft. And she likes it there. Not a lot of light still. It's a low light plant, guys. I water about two to three times, um, every two to three weeks. Um, she's going on about a third week. That's why she's looking a little limp. But she's, she's healthy, I promise you. All right, so that was the um, Brazilian philodendron. So the next plant I have is my Marble Queen Pothos. Now, if you guys remember, I did it in, um, I did a video in a Give Me the Dirt container. Well, she has outgrown that and I had to repot her as well. And she's trailing now and i'm actually trying to i put a a little stick on here um, i'm trying to get her to trail up and i'll probably eventually repot her too once she gets trailing more but she has gotten like she's gotten really really big as well and if you guys remember this was the pot she was originally in she was originally in this pot and she just got way too big for for this pot and I took her to work and she was in a, ha in a, a macrame hanger. She got to the, the Miss Thing right here. She got too big for this. So, um, I put my Lucky Bamboo plant, which has gotten super big. I've had this for about five years, y'all. And she's in here. She loves to be rocks and wet and I'm actually gonna give her a good drink too. But, Look how tall she is. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of those things. Um, I don't know if you guys can see some of my plants in my living room. Let me take you on a quick little living room tour. This is my fiddle. <laughs> fiddle leaf fig. She loves this little window. This is her little area. And these two, these actually go out on my patio outdoors. Um, but I need to repot them. Because they we, we've been having some, some uh, windy weather lately. And so with the wind, I mean, they 
got knocked down and two of the fronds the top like came off so I just gotta re, re um, pot those again just some quick little my alocasia this was actually one of the tops that fell off of that I'm hoping I can revamp it and get it to get it to root and have a whole new um, marginata draxina plant Gotta have a money tree, guys. All right, and this bad boy takes up the whole corner almost on its own. That's my monstera. Over here, I have <clears throat> a bird's nest fern, Addisonii, and back here, a rickrack that has taken off finally. This was the only piece that I had purchased. I purchased it off of Etsy about three years ago, y'all. It was just a clipping, and she has finally now started trying to grow something. But this is that little corner. That's the only fake tree plant in the house. <laughs> yeah, just a quick overview, guys. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on some of the um, plants that I did previous videos on. Like I said, that philodendron in Brazil, she's doing amazing. I am going to eventually repot her probably within the next few days. Like I said, I need to go and buy some more uh, uh, pots for them. Um, and then also, Miss Thang right here, she got... She's getting an uplift, uh, uh, updo, uplift. Like I said, I'm trying to get her to trail up. And I will eventually have to get a new stake or whatnot. Or make something. Uh, but. All I do is just try to keep playing with it. And every time I see some coming down. And I'll probably get some clips so that way I can make sure they stay up. But again, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what was going on in my life and my plants' lives and some of the ones I am, like I said, I'm still going to do a plant tour, guys, um, of where a lot of them are in the house. There's so much stuff I want to do, and I'm going to get to them. Um, but anyways, thank you guys again for um, checking me out sticking with me hang in there with me guys because i got some more content for you um and i want to show you some things that we've done around the house as well 